this is Lucifera. And this is Entropy. We're going to be discussing the Illuminati and what it really means and what it is to us. Um, Entropy, would you like to read the definition of Illuminati? This is from an online etymology dictionary which gives you the core, the, um, the, the, the core language in which it comes from obviously it's latin 1590s plural of latin illuminatus which means enlightened in figurative sense past participle of illuminari originally applied to a 16th century spanish sect then to other sects 1797 used as a translation of german illuminatin name of a secret society Found in 1776 in Iglosdat, Bavaria, and holding deistic and republican principles, hence used generally of free thinkers and sarcastically of those professing intellectual enlightenment. To even find a general definition of Illuminati is somewhat difficult because it's such a general term, because this Illuminati as far as some organized group of people that somehow run the world is probably nothing but fiction. So there is nothing wrong with the word Illuminati. Um, everybody has their own idea of it, but there's nothing wrong with the word. We use the word proudly. The word Illuminati, you know, it's illumined, the, illu the enlightened ones, and so uh, uh, us light bearers are the enlightened ones. We go out there and share knowledge and wisdom with people. And like with so many other things in this world, everything seems to be on its head. We are supposed to somehow uh, fear and hate uh, someone who refers to themselves as enlightened which is basically what an Illuminati would be, an enlightened person. We're supposed to fear and hate these people because somehow they're in control and somehow they're going to do some nebulous things. It's never even clear what it is they're going to do. They're going to start a one-world government. Well, uh, a one-world government, if it's a good government and there is peace in the world and people are actually uh, you know, becoming enlightened would be a good thing, right? No, it's not a good thing because the church, the Bible says it's not a good thing and therefore it's it's not. Your uh your slave master Jehovah says it's not a good thing, so therefore you will listen to him. You know it's interesting. I get quite a few videos from, you know, Christians or some conspiracy theorists, um, you know, claiming uh, that the Illuminati is filled with uh, reptilians and strange monsters uh, and claim it as fact. They also give me a lot of these uh, shape-shifting videos which are just totally, totally ridiculous. So, so here's basically the premise that you Christians have with regards to us. We we are both evil and we are both doing evil things because we want to enlighten people and open up their eyes. Uh, we are somehow trying to get people to be total sheep and believe in ridiculous things like Lucifer which means light bearer is somehow a good thing instead of an evil thing that you're told. Uh, with all of that, with all of what we do, this is what you do, okay? You go to church and you believe that whatever the church tells you is true is true. You read a book that is at its newest is 1900 years old and you say it's true. Everything in it is true. You, uh, a lot of you uh, listen to the likes of Alex Jones and David Ick and think that everything they say is true about these ridiculous ideas of reptilians and so on and so on and then you want to turn around on us and tell us somehow we're we're the ones who are trying to get people to be sheep and getting people to uh, follow some evil uh, ridiculous ideas. I mean, th this is the premise folks.
you you want to believe that you're not cheap, okay? You want to believe that people like Alex Jones is not fleecing you, folks. Alec, pe people like Alex Jones and David Icke are making millions of dollars on you. Let, let's let's look at how much money um, Lucifera and I are making on you. We're not making a dime. We don't even have um, advertisements on our YouTube pages. We could. We could. I mean, it's, it's possible for anybody to do that, you know. But we didn't. And we're not going to. We're just trying to present you the truth. And we're the ones who are evil. We're the ones who are evil. We're the ones who are foolish. Well, I tell you, if, I, if I'm if i going to listen to somebody that tells me that reptilians are somehow in control, it would be nice, at least, if they had some evidence of this. Okay? We present you with actual evidence. Uh, it would be... it. If somebody wants to tell us that Luciferians are in control, it would be nice if there were some evidence of that. The reason why they tell you these things is so that they can deny the truth, the truth being that Christians and Jews are in control of this planet, plain and simple. And they want you to be scared of these bugaboos under the bed, the Luciferians, the Rosicrucians, the Masons, and the Illuminati. It's pretty interesting too that a lot of you uh, condemn these, you know, beings, whether they be aliens or assuming reptilians are real. Um, you are claiming they are uh, evil. Well, just as humans, there's bad humans and good humans. So um, there's probably good aliens and bad aliens. Why do you people have to, you know, assume that all these beings are evil or demons? It's not the case. You base everything you believe on supposition. You base everything you believe on people who say it's a fact when they present absolutely no evidence. When we, on the other hand, say things like Lucifer is not Satan and we present absolute concrete evidence from your Bible. From your Bible. And you continue to deny it. What kind of foolish people are you? I mean, you 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 are very foolish people. You could at least try to open your eyes up a little bit. Because the truth of the matter is, the way most of you are going, you're going to be doing this again. It, you're going to be reincarnated again here on this planet. So, folks, I have clarified um, over and over again the names Lucifer, a Luciferian, and now I'm clarifying Illuminati. And what it is to us. So we are not, we are not some sinister group of beings trying to take over the world. It's nonsense. I would proudly take that title on, on myself. To be an Ill Illuminati means to be illuminated, to be to be enlightened. Exactly. So it's ridiculous for you folks. It's because the, you don't. The powers that be don't want you to be enlightened. The powers that be don't want you to open your eyes. They want you to continue to be sheep. And whether you're a sheep for Alex Jones or uh, David Icke or a sheep for the government or a sheep for, this, for the churches, you're still sheep, folks. You're still sheep. They're dumbing you down. Absolutely. So I hope I, I hope we got through to you folks this time, and I do not want to go back and repeat this over and over again. So um, you want to you want to know more about what I am about and what entropy is about? You watch our videos and stop condemning us and calling us evil um, or calling us Satan or the devil. Um, this is uh, fear mongering. So, uh, this is Lucifera. And this is Entropy. Until, uh, until next time. Night.